Hi, welcome back to Canva Tips for Authors. Today we're going to do something like this where you have a nice sparkly video with your pre-order now or buy now button. This is a bit of a fiddly one, so get yourself some caffeine. Okay, my name is Jeevani Charika. I'm a romance and women's fiction author and a Canva nerd. And I am here to help you as authors use Canva better in your book marketing. Okie dokie, let's go. So you're going to need Canva Pro for this one. Okay, let's start with something. It doesn't really matter what document size you want. Let's start with Facebook post. Instead of pre-order now, let's do something shorter like buy now. Okay. Now what we want for this is some really chunky text because chunky is good. Let's go for sans serif. Where's that gone? Sans serif and something simple like that. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to put that in the middle and and the background to bright yellow. I have not tried black and white. I don't know if that would work. It might. Okay. This is a bit hit and miss. Bear with. Okay. So you've got your text. It's in the middle of your big yellow square. You download that. Okay. That's your image number one. Okay. Now then. New page, you need a black background for this. So turn the background black and upload your thing that you just downloaded. And put that in here. And now crop that as small as possible and take up as much space as you can. Right, so what you're trying to do, because Canva is using an AI, which doesn't think, is you're trying to persuade the AI that this yellow bit is the foreground and the black is the background, okay? Let's group that even closer and even closer on that side. Okay, now we download that. I'm downloading them as JPEGs. I think it probably still works as PNG as well. Okay, so that's image number two. Right. Now you go get a new page and background is white and upload the thing you just downloaded again. Okay. Let's make that big again, as big as we can. Okay. Now, fingers crossed, this will work. Edit photo, background remover, and it should hopefully take out all the black. Yes, it did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Like I say, it doesn't work 100% of the time. Now it's the fun bit. You go to elements and you look for gold. Because we're going to do this in gold. Something like that. That's quite a nice goldy thing. And position backwards. Let's make the buy now even bigger. Okay, layers. Click on that and move it. Okay. That looks about right. So that's now you've got a gold buy now. 
Okay. Next thing we want to do is to look for, I think it was shine I looked for. That was the one. Let's make it really big. So it's a, it's just a glow. And you want it to go like that. Let's see, how does that look? Position to the back. That works. You could maybe angle it slightly so that it's less. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So then we go to animate. Click on create an animation. And if you click shift and drag, you get a straight line. So shift and drag in a straight line. How cool is that? Okay, let's make that uh, steady. Actually, no, let's make that smooth. Okay, that's cool. I like that. You can make it go faster or slower. Okay, click on done. And let's just play that. playing the last 10 seconds. Oh, why has it stopped there? That's no good. Let's start again. Edit photo. No, not edit photo. This one. Position. That one. Custom animation. And delete path the shift oh, actually let's make this make this a bit bigger so that it's not quite such a skinny line that's going across okay custom animation and that's cool and smooth it Hmm. Smoothing it seems to lose a little bit. All right, let's call that done then. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to isolate that by now thing. So we put in a rectangle, go to elements and get a rectangle or just hit R on your keyboard, the letter R and you'll get a rectangle. Right. That needs to go there. We're just covering everything up now. Okay. Duplicate and down to the bottom here and up and cover the edge. Duplicate again and and duplicate again and put it over here. Right. That's our buy now. So now you've got this, you've got your line that goes across and you're going to download this one as an MP4. Page three as an MP4. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go back, add page again and let's give it a nice black background so that we can see what we're doing and upload upload the file you just downloaded again okay and copy it onto here make it all nice and big and edit video now video background remover even more hit and miss than normal background remover and it doesn't have a bit where you can um, reintroduce the bits that it's missed so 
Fingers crossed this will work. Eh. It's not super fantastic, but you know, it'll do, right? All right, that sort of works right then. And we can change the background to some other color just so that it's not so, all right. Now you can, with things like this, you can do a little bit of magic erase and get rid of, but the other thing you could do, is go to your original by now text, go to effects, go to hollow, and you get an outline. Now you copy that, paste that down here, and you'll have to fiddle with the size a bit because we've made it bigger and smaller and just messed about with it quite a lot. So Okay. And then you can go back to effects, take the thickness down a little bit so that it's only just faintly outlined, but it still works. There you go. And now you have your useful buy now button. Uh, you can add those two together and group. There you go. And this can go pretty much anywhere. So let's have a look. Let's copy the group and Instagram story. Okay, and book cover, where's my book cover gone? Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back to here, we copy this, and paste it. Move it to where we want. There we go. Let's have a look. There you go. That's a nice little ad that you can you can download and use. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please tell all your friends. If you are an author and wants to talk to other authors about how to use Canva, come and join the free Facebook group. It, the link is in the description. It's called Canva Tips for Authors. And if there's anything you'd like me to show you how to make, a challenge if you like, um, pop it in the comments and I will see what I can do. In the meantime, have a great day and thank you for your time.